Okay, welcome back. We are looking at modeling equations, and this is going to be a two-part video. Okay, so if we're looking at this, my circles, my two circles here, um, each one is worth or weighs one kilogram. So their mass is one kilogram each. If I'm looking at my triangle here, I don't know how much it weighs, but I do know I want to know the total of what they weigh together. So if I was going to write this as an equation, I had two from my circles and my unknown variable. Okay, so if I was going to then write an expression for what I have here, I now have more. Okay, so there's six here, and then I have three unknown variables. So I would have three x, three times x to find out how much that is. Okay, now I can write the expression this way, or I can also write it three x plus six. It doesn't matter which number comes first. Okay, so what I would like you to do is using this format, okay, with the x's um, being the triangles and the circles representing um, how much we're adding, um, I would like you to draw um, triangles and circles for these expressions. So for an example, here is for the x, my one triangle, and then I have three circles. And then I'd like you to do up to here for me and then stop and come back. So make sure you pause and do this and then come back. So you notice for B, there's three X's, so there's three triangles, there's one circle. For C, there's two X's, so there's two triangles and there's five circles. Okay, so just pause the video, look, make sure you've got this correct. So now when we're moving on to these, we're gonna use what's called the distributive property. Okay, what that means is if I was going to figure out um, what this is and be able to draw it out. First, I have to put the two inside the bracket. So if I was going to, if I knew that this was a two, right, uh, this is always going to be three. So I would need to make sure I multiplied by both of those. So I need to do that as well. So um, I would multiply this in. So that would be two X. And then this is going to be plus two. And so this would be one, two, and so I'm going to get you to do H and I, pause, and then just come back, right? Because this would be 3x plus 3. And then here I have 4x plus 1, 2, 3, 4, because that would be 4x plus 1. Okay, again, use the distributive property to work this out. You do not have to draw these out, but what I would like you to do, use the distributive property, and then what I would like you to do is solve this equation and the one that you've made into the distributive property by substituting five in for X and see if you come up with the same answer for each. Okay, so pause the video again and then come back. Okay, so this is gonna stay the same. And then this one is gonna be two X plus 22. Okay, and now I'm gonna sub in five for x. So I have two, there's five plus 11. Okay, and this is going to be, okay, it's inside the bracket. So if I'm following order of operations, okay, so this is going to be 55, or sorry, not 55, blah, I'm at, multiplying. This is going to be 16, and then 16 times two is going to be equal to 32. Okay, and now I'm going to sub 2 times 5 is going to be 10, and that's plus 22, and that's going to be 32. So they come up with the same answer. So that's a good way to check yourself as well. All right, over here I have 2x plus seven, and then over here I'm gonna have two X plus 14. And now I'm going to sub in my five. Okay, 
Okay, so this is going to be 12 times 2, which is going to be 24. And then here I have 10 plus 14, and that is going to be 24. Remember when we played the game, when we had, we thought of a number, which would be substituting in for x, right? So we would th think of a number, and then we had our partner um, tell us what we're multiplying it by, and then what we are adding to it, and then we had to work backwards. So that's what we're going to do here is we are going to work backwards. Okay. So when we're working backwards, we go opposite to the order of operations. So whatever we did first, we do last and whatever we do last, we do first. So what we would do last here is obviously the, the addition. So I'm going to subtract four here and I'm going to subtract four there. And this is going to be 15. So there is X. And so now what I'm doing to um, X is I'm multiplying. So now if I'm going to undo that, I am going to divide by three. And over here, I'm going to divide by three. So this is equal to one and one times X is X. Okay, so I have X, 15 divided by three is going to be five. Now, when I finish an algebraic question, I always go back and I plug it in and I make sure that I have done all of my work correctly. So I plug that in and now I have 15 plus four equals 19 and it does. So it worked out. I'm gonna get you to pause, work this out, okay? Make sure you use the distributive property first and then undo the problem and then come back. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you, before you go on to the next video, you are going to pause and you are going to make sure that you're doing up to question five and if you're not understanding something, please make sure you are coming in for help.